stop. Wow. Hi, people. Today, I went shopping at the Beverly Center. I went to the Bev Beverly Center, which is a mall. And the top floor of that mall is full of really expensive stores. So I basically just browsed, which was cool. And then I went to the Grove, which I was really excited to go there because I've heard a lot about it and it was fun. It was a little bit swanky. There was like jazz music playing and there was towels in the bathroom and it was fancy. So again, a lot of the stores were like a little out of my price range, but it was still super fun shop around so for today's vlog I'm gonna, just gonna show you what I bought and then I still have to go and find some makeup that I really want to get that I can't get in Canada uh, that I didn't find today so I have to go and search that tomorrow also today filmed a vlog with that guy so you should go check out Jason's channel because there's gonna be like a 10 minute vlog of the two of us on over there and it's probably gonna be good so I'll put the links in the description. So let's see what I have. I want to go from like least exciting to most exciting, but none of it's really that exciting. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so number one, CVS, which is like a drugstore. What did I get? Oh, okay, here we go. Least exciting. Two packs of gum. Yeah. Then I got um, Wet n Wild blush. It is pretty, and it was like two dollars. I don't think you can get any makeup for two dollars in Canada so and I've heard that they're good and then I got this it's a uh, Milani shadow eyes eyeshadow pencil and it's pretty this is exciting we don't have this brand in Canada either so I figured I should try it out they also had a cool bronzer but I didn't want to overdo it since I'm still gonna go shopping for makeup tomorrow Okay, then I went to Sephora, which Sephora is pretty similar um, to the States and Canada. It's just that stuff is cheaper here. The first thing is um, an eyelash curler because I've held off getting an eyelash curler forever. And then, I don't know, I think I just watch too many beauty vloggers and they all say that eyelash curler is like the number one most important thing that you need when you're doing your makeup. So I figured I would get one and it, they're not expensive. So I figured that was a good idea. Then I got... Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. Cooling and hydrating. So Urban Decay has like three different types of setting spray and I talked to the lady working there and she said that this is the best one for dry skin because I have really dry skin on my face. And so basically what this is, is you just spray it on your makeup or before your makeup, after you do your makeup. Yeah, yeah, after you do your makeup, you spray this all over your face and it sets it and it makes it not fall off. Then, okay, this is exciting. This could be like the grand finale, but I'm just gonna do it now. It's not coming in the bag. I got myself a hair straightener, yay! Because I don't have my own hair straightener. And again, I talked to the people working there and they said that this was the best one. And it's the kind where you can like, you can straighten damp hair and it won't damage your hair and it has a good warranty and it's supposed to be a really, really good one, so. That's fun. So then I got um, something secret. Then I went to Topshop and I got a sweater or shirt. I don't know. It's um, in this really pretty like corally red color, which is actually the same color that's in my new Toms. So I thought that was cool and it matches and it's just like a big flowy, really soft, nice sweater. And then my favorite item, my favorite thing that I bought of the whole day. It's from Anthropology which there's one in Toronto, but I never go there because it's like super out of the way. So, oh, it's all done up and I'm gonna have to undo it. But that's okay because I wanted to try it on anyway. It's a dress. It just is like a tank top at the top and then it just goes down and it is all one piece and the seaming is all like uneven and it goes like on a diagonal line and it's longer in the back than it is at the front. I don't even know what kind of material you would call this. It's like really soft and um, almost like a towel, but softer, I don't know. It just seemed really cool. It was on a mannequin and it seemed really cool. And then if you just like wear it with a belt, I love it so much. It's so pretty and it's so perfect for summer because it's really cool and flowy. Yeah, so anyways, that is my little like mini haul. He's coming back in, good timing or maybe not. Yeah, that's all. Bye. Bye.